a sick, simple drum beat here as well. There is one more method you can do. You can program your beats in FS Studio as well. And um, that is to use it with a plugin. So let's go back to the channel rack here and let's create a new plugin. I'm going to use the FPC plugin here. And here you can see this is like a drum machine. So there are already uh, loaded up sounds here. And what you need to do here is to program the drums with the piano roll. So you can just go to FPC here, piano roll, and here you can see all of the individual drum sounds. So what you want to do here is to I have to zoom in a bit first. Let's create that a bit bigger and use pattern. So as you can see, this way it's a lot easier to make some nice cool uh, grooves with the beat. So I rarely use the FPC method, kind of uh, drum machine method with the piano roll. What I use most often is to just take audio samples and lay them out in the playlist like this and then just select them all and copy them over to um, where I want them to be in the track basically. Um, so. You can do it these all these different ways. Um, you, I think you should try all of these three different ways to um, create beats. Uh, what I mostly often use actually is to just take loops that are pre-made, so pre-made drum loops, for instance, and then cut off the cut out the different individual elements. So you can do that as well. I'm going to show you one of the drum loops that I use. Let's say here we have drum loops that comes with Effort Studio. So what you can do here is to just disable all of these tracks here and just listen to this one. Do now with this drum loop is to select the slicer here and we can slice whatever we want. So let's say that we just want the kick drum here. Let's um, go back to the draw tool. So now we have a kick drum like this. Cool. So what we can do here now is to I'm going to just borrow this track here and just delete the snare there and take the drum loop here again and just use the snare for it. So here's the snare, just select that as well. All right, let's take a listen to some other elements that we may use in our drum loop. Here's a clear hi-hat sample. So let's use that as well. Okay, so what we have now is a hi-hat snare and a kick drum here. So let's use the hi-hat here. Let's move the snare over to here, maybe. All right, so I'm going to delete all of these and use um, use the Hyatt here. And we're going to use the snare here. Let's select our area here.
So you see how easy it is to just take a drum loop, an existing drum loop, and remake it to your own. Because now it sounds very much different from the original drum loop, but still you use some very nice high quality samples in there. And you can get inspired by just just importing an existing drum loop and extracting it like this. And it works very, very easily. And I really love FS Studio about this, that the slicing functions and different functions to just um, just export different elements from a drum loop and just having it in like this is very, very nice to have. And you can see now how important it is to just have these different pre-made um, tracks here in the playlist because now you can use them for the drums, for instance. Of course, you can use it for in the empty track section here, but now we have them organized. So it's very easy now to have our drum loop like this. And yeah, it's very nice to work it like this. All right, guys, so I hope you learned a lot with this video and I see you in the next lecture.